action. This is the control panel for the Sportsman E Press. It's also called the switchboard. Um, as you can see, you have eight switches on the bottom. Uh, each switch controls a different head on the press. So if you have head eight on, you can now print that head. Um, moving on, uh, these two switches here are for print cycles. The switch on the right is um, to start a cycle. The switch on the left is to actually print the cycle. Um, here we have the emergency This is the emergency stop button. We can break them up in smaller and put them together. All right. Um, this button is for any issue that you have during a print cycle. Um, if there's a problem, you can hit it and you get the red warning um, alarm. The green button here is sort of the uh, universal reset button. Um, it's used for many things, mainly to lock the press in place. It's also used to release the press so it can move freely. Um, a lot of these switches translate to each head. So you notice some of the same symbols on each head. Um, starting from the top, we have we have the uh, lock and unlock for the squeegee and the flood bar. Moving to the middle, these two switches unlock the front and back of the screen itself. Uh, these arrows indicate which side of the screen you're unlocking. These two knobs control the squeegee speed and the flood speed. So that's what those are. Down to these two buttons, uh, which you saw on the other on the control panel. We have the reset button, which does the same thing. It releases the press and allows you to move pallets freely. Um, and this is a print button. This is on each press and allows you to print um, a single stroke on the head you are using.